Hey, what's up, nature freaks? What's going on, nature freaks? Dave and Jeremy, as you can see, we're hitting the road again for a short trip to Missouri. And for those of you who are geographically challenged, Missouri does border Illinois, but there are so many unique critters in Missouri that you don't find in Illinois, including some scorpions. Scorpions in the Midwest. Spiders, tarantulas, and some uh, unique snakes. So we're gonna try to blow it up in Missouri. We'll be there till tomorrow, and uh, we're gonna let you guys know all about what we eat. Nature in your face. Got a teeny, teeny, tiny little ring neck that with teeny baby poop. Oh, like iridescence in the sun. Beautiful little snake. Look at that belly. Oh, maybe. There you go. Look at that belly. All right. Thing's got a giant condo over here. We're gonna put it back. The way it was. We're not here to destroy habitat. You want to go in a hole? All right, we got our first tarantula. It is not happy to see us, but that's okay. It's under this giant rock down in the burrow. Gave it a little tickle pickle, and here it is, ready to jack something up. It's yeah, a Texas you know. brown, mm -hmm. which is weird because we're not in Texas. Right. Yeah, this is probably the furthest east we've ever found a tarantula. North as well. Furthest yeah. north, yeah. Right, right, north and east. So it might be the furthest in the range, but I did find one of these in Texas, but he is, the one I found in Texas was sweet. You know this tarantula go. wants to bite when he rears up <laughs> on those back legs. Yeah, and it was way down in this burrow. We're gonna have to get it to go back in there before we put this rock back on. So we I'm a little surprised he hasn't uh, gone back in the burrow on his own. Here, let me just see something. Hang on. Hang on. Don't let him go in there yet. Let him come out. It's starting to turn. Come I don't on. recommend that. No, I just want to try to tap him on the butt and see if Yeah, you... go ahead and try and tap him on the butt. Here, here. <laughs> That's a really nice shot of him. Cool man, I'm happy with this find. This was one of my targets. Was it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Find a Missouri tarantula. I mean, yeah, heck yeah. Uh, you're gonna at least get a tap of those fangs. Oh, if he's gonna go, he's gonna go all in. If he, <laughs> if he get, if he slams them down, he's got, they're going in. Let's see. Okay, come on, buddy. Man, I'm a lefty, so go like this. Come on, come on, come on. You're left-handed? No, no, no. Said, no, I'd rather really get bit on one. Known you for years. Come on, come on, <laughs> come on. You'd rather sacrifice the left. Yeah, there we go. There we go. But is it is it ready? It's like I don't uh, know. if I get his claw, if he could go crazy, he might not. He's lifting a little bit. There we go. There we go. All right. Woo. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> Adrenaline my, my dump. My knees are shaking. Is what's shaking. <laughs> I'm like in a bad position. She got some uh, some silk on your finger. All right, hey guys, we found our second snake. <clears throat> Jeremy found one of these a little bit smaller earlier. Just a little prairie ring neck snake, flipped them under a rock, fossorial species. Pretty cool though, you can see those beautiful colors on the belly. It's actually the only snake in the Midwest with a ring that completely encircles the neck. So that's a good field mark for this guy, but we're gonna let him go and see what else we can find out here. Sweet. Back under the rock you go, my friend. Yep, the exact rock I found him under. Zip. <laughs> okay, watch this. The teeniest, tiniest little six-line race runner. Right there. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, you're running? Okay. And move. I'll put it back. And you can come back. Well, guys, Jeremy does not know it yet. <laughs> this was the snake that I wanted to find. It's a lifer. I just flipped the line snake right here in my hand. First one I've ever found. This is why I traveled the uh, 250 miles down here to flip and find a line snake. And I got one. 
How awesome is this? Sweet, so I'm gonna bring it over to Jeremy. He has no clue I found it. We're also herping with Joe. Joe actually lives down here. He took us to this spot to find him, so good on Joe for that. But let's go bring him to Jeremy. I'm gonna do this live and see his reaction. Got my line snake. Oh yeah. I think he's on a baby tarantula right now. He's way over here. What do you guys got? What? Got you. So he still doesn't know. Watch him freak out. What are you guys filming? Scorpion. Scorpion? Yeah? Have you filmed the lion snake yet, there mother? Goes. Oh, we Have did. you filmed the lion snake yet, snake. mother? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to the camera yeah, the whole time. Talking, so I was like, I'm like, he's going to be surprised nice. when I is see this. Look at that. They almost he almost reminds me of a, like he's, a rosy he's bow. He's pooped on me. Yeah, they do. They, you know what? How about, a, how about a cross between a rosy bow and a garter snake, and you get this. And then throw in a queen snake, and you got a deal. <laughs> there you go. Let me see the belly. I don't know what the belly is. kind of... Oh, yeah, it does look a little yeah, queen snakey. Here's our scorpion we're trying to film. <laughs> the hundredth one of the yeah. day. There it is. All right. Well, hey, this is what we came... I was telling... I was telling our, our viewers that this is one of the reasons I wanted to come yeah. down here. Our viewers, man. <laughs> Our viewers. What else am I going to call? I was making a joke. Oh, there look at go. that belly pad in the half. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? You know, as dull as this snake is, what's really cool about them is they're monotypic, which means that they're in a genus all by themselves. There's no other snake in this genus, which is pretty cool, pretty rare. Yeah, kind of like the king cobra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, check this out, guys. A little surprise here. The lion snake I noticed he was starting the shed so I'm gonna help him out. I'm gonna get him to crawl all the way out. Look at that. Fresh coat of paint underneath that first layer of skin there. That's my go-to I guess when they shoot. Yeah it's the second time this year I got a snake shedding after catching him. I mean just look at the difference though how nice and blown out the pattern is in the stripe. Very cool. These aren't the prettiest snakes, but it's pretty exciting anytime you find a snake you've never found before. It's prettier than it was now that it's shedding. Yeah, and this one's been we'll avoiding more detail us. in the back, you know. This one has been something we've been looking for and haven't found, and finally today we got it. Look at that, look at that. This is one of the coolest things in nature that most people never get to see. Pulsating body as it pulls out of there. This does not hurt the snake. The snake greatly appreciates this. <laughs> yeah, this hurts about as much as taking off a sock or a pair of brookies. <laughs> the eyes. He's almost done. There it is. Focus, focus, focus. Oh, oh you missed it. But... Let's see how you get the tarantula out of the hole. Break off a little piece of grass, and then you tickle the front of the tarantula. Come on. There we go. You can go back into your burrow if you want. Just wanted to see you. Today is the day of tarantulas. Go on back in there. Oh, you're going to turn around and get ready, huh? Say, come on in my house, and it'll be go time. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Doubtful. You never know. This is Dave pretending like he knows what he's doing. Nice big fat one guarding her eggs. Black Widow baby. No, not a baby. Big I'm a Lactrodectus baby. I know, it's, it's a song, Dave. Dave's not cool. Not cool. Look at that beautiful fat female right there. Let's see if I can get this. Yeah, Can't really right zoom there, in. Right this. there, right there. It's okay. I don't want to smush her, so I'm gonna put the rock back a little bit over here. Oh, do you smell what the rock is flipping?
I want some water in my mouth right now. Bam, 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 bam. <clears throat> Probably shouldn't sing. I'll get demonetized. Ooh, that rock says flip me right now. I am gorgeous. That's a sexy rock. Ooh! Oh, scorpion. Look at that. That's why you gotta be careful when you're flipping stuff, because I grabbed right here. And there's a scorpion. Ready to jack me up. But it didn't, so. Alright guys, at about this exact same moment, I flipped this six-line racer lizard. Jeremy flipped another, another line, line snake. snake. We're lining them up, baby! That's right. <laughs> And speaking yeah, of lining them up, us. Joe here, yeah, he lined us up the in hour. this spot, so man, we, we owe this to Joe. But. Hi, cyber friend. <laughs> That's right, this is Missouri Joe, as he's known throughout the world. <laughs> That's right. right. As of now. Uh, let's see if we can get this guy a little bit closer. <laughs> oh, that is the cutest Beautiful thing ever. Six little lines on Look at that. These things are fast <clears throat> as heck. But. And we don't have to worry about keeping the snake by it, because this one eats earthworms, so. Right. No way that lizard's getting caught by the snake. Yeah, like so it's speedy. been... Uh, been a pretty good day so far we still have a few hours of her from today but we got uh, two species of snakes we got the ringnecks we got the lion snakes we got a ton of lizards fence lizards brown skinks and the six line racers so there it is let's hope we can uh find a few more species joe what do you think we're we gonna find some more stuff today we're getting to the end of it but we might sweet right. spots are still ahead so we yeah. yeah gotta right. be hopeful let's do it it's worth the trip yeah 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 look at that Let's go put little line snake back. You guys want to walk with me while I put the line snake back? La da da. Look at this beautiful. Oh, it pooped all over my hand. Who knew? You get an animal from the wild and you scare the poo out of it. All right, here we go. There's the rock. I'm just gonna put the camera low and say, see you later, alligator snake. Oh, thanks for the gift, bro. Not cool. You know what? I've actually heard this is good source of protein, so I haven't eaten yet. JK! Three line snakes. What? I said I got the third line snake. It's pretty well. It looks like it just shed. Look at this. Nice. The same size. You found the shed? Yeah, that's about the same size. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, good catch. Ninja that means I'm going to get poop down. Oh, you're going to get poop. Okay, you better put the thing down. Look at he split before it I splits. Be snake. Look at that, man. Yeah. Whoa, buddy. It's like holding a baby. You're going to get pooped on. You better get a diaper on that, baby. All right. Snake diaper. That'd be a tough one right there. Maybe a tube sock. Beautiful place. That's a um, fowlers. Oh, fowlers. Sweet. An extra oh, fowler So I can't get that up. I know. He went under here, and all of a sudden the toad pops out. Like, oh, there he is. He's coming out. Neighbors. All right. Caught a little race runner. These guys are super cool. But that is not what's exciting. Dave just goes, dude, you'll never believe what I got. I'm over here. And he says, I'm not, I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to walk over here. <laughs> Me and the lizard are going to go. Da, 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 da. Hey, Dave, hey, what'd you find? Deal what's behind the curtain. I'm going to keep my hand All right. 
right, so first of all, check out the habitat. Look at this. All right, let's look at this. Okay, so I just flipped this giant Huge rock. Huge freaking rock with a nice depression right there. Let's see if we can get the depression. See that? Now, guys, all I've right. never flipped this before in my life. I didn't even know they Oops, would hide under rock. I just flipped the tiniest little baby box oh, turtle. Oh my goodness. Look at this adorableness. Man, adorable, look at that. Adorable. This has got to be only a couple yeah, weeks old. let's put them old. together. Oh, look. Oh, oh, oh. I oh. found a lizard. Oh, and he's pooping on me. Which one? This Who? guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ninja. Whoopsh, whoopsh, whoopsh. Okay. Wow. Okay, okay, settle down, settle down. Oh, no, he's starting to poop on you. Isn't that the, that's Dude, so cool. Dude, that's awesome. Good flip. Yeah, I'm a Good go, flip, Davi. So cool. All right, just flip this earth snake right here. Cool little snakes. Fossorial, hiding under the rocks, blending into the earth, if you will. See the underside of the belly? Much, much lighter in color. And you flip it over to that drab, earthy tone with the teeny tiny little tongue flick. All right, so here's our rough earth snake, which is different from the smooth earth snake because it's rough. It's got keeled scales, which is hard to see because they're very, very tiny. But that's uh, one of the difference between them and the worm snake. They're not smooth. They have the keeled scales, which gives them the rough appearance. But uh, you're going to find them under these rocks looking for earthworms and just blending in, looking cool. Yeah, Wait. this is a lifer for us. We've found smooth earth snakes in Illinois, but this is the Missouri area where we find the rough um, earth snake. They're not found in Illinois, so we've got two lifers on this trip. We've got the line snake and now the rough earth snake. Again, two of the most non-colorful snakes yeah, right. you could possibly <clears throat> uh, film. But, I mean, any lifer you get is pretty cool. And if you can see the ants on it, Kind of gives it perspective on its size. Look at that. Yep, so does your fat finger. So does my fat finger. Get All a right, manicure right. already. And there's another lifer in this prairie. Let me let me scan where, let me show you a little bit of the habitat here. I mean, look at that. There's a lot of flipping rocks. Just a huge open field prairie habitat. And um, we're hoping to find possibly a prairie king snake. Maybe a yellow belly racer. So there's still some lifers to be found. So let's get back on it. All right, so any new hiker, herper, adventurer, you flip the rock, find the snake. We always put the rocks back the way they were. And secure. you put them down first because you don't want to smash the snake. That's right, yeah. Secure the <laughs> habitat. These animals use it so you can find them later and we let the snakes go. There he goes, right and back under. Yeah. No harm, no foul. Hey, there he goes. All right, Dave's on to something. Yep, another uh, rough earth snake. Jeremy and I are trading cool finds here. Now the difference between the one Jeremy found and the one I found is this is a juvenile. And I was confused at first because it has that little mark. almost looks like a ringneck snake, but that is because it's a juvenile. They will lose that marking eventually. And that's what was so confusing. So I found a pair, not a breeding pair, they're two juveniles under a, the same rock. So it almost looks like a little crown. It does. Especially on that bigger one right there. Yeah, it's like you will two. call me Prince Earth. <laughs> Looks like two little half moons or something. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I've never seen that. So cool. It's a different, you know, stage of the right, snake's right. life. So another interesting thing about yeah, the very rough cool find. So, uh, <clears throat> the rough earth snake. Heck yeah. Well, guys, I can't think of a better way to end our Missouri herping adventure because I just flipped a really cool speckled king snake look at this beautiful little devil here Ooh, smell that beautiful he devil. smells too but i mean <laughs> i literally flipped a hundred and fifty thousand rocks today and i was looking for this guy and one of the last rocks i flipped this beauty was under there yeah so super cool way to end this hope you guys enjoyed missouri we sure did yep uh beautiful state beautiful landscape uh the people we've met here joe super cool guy thanks for taking us out and showing us around and I mean, just look, look behind us. La -da -da. Listen to the beautiful lawnmower. I don't know where that's coming from, but uh, <laughs> no that's people in nature, there. right? Yep. All right, well, hey guys, if you enjoyed this, you want to see more amazing adventures, more up close and personal animals, you know, if you want to subscribe to the channel, that'd be awesome. If you don't, thanks for watching and just comment below why you don't like us and why you hate our faces, okay? Let us know for the algorithm's sake anyway. Speaking of faces, we'll see you guys in the next episode of Nature in your face.